It is I, the clown. I am disguised as a clown. The disguise was not necessary. And I have a message from Michelle. If she will arrive to collect the motor from the mower that is in the bus chair, huh? which is to go into the aeroplane that is in the museum, uh, ready for the takeoff. She is off her rocker. Uh, also, you are to collect uh, 200 feet of elastic to make a catapult to assist it into the air. Huh? 200 feet of it? Where am I supposed to find 200 feet of elastic? Every man in the village uh, will give up his braces. I have already given up mine. Viva la France! <laughs> oh. Look out, there are Germans coming. Get them, quick. Get them on, get them on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with your permission, never before seen in Nouveau. Seven clubs in the air at one time. Never before seen. Music, maestro, please. Seven. Hey. <laughs> I, I did not say I could catch them. Where is Rene? We wish to speak to him. Oh, he's just clearing a table. He will be here in a minute. Ah, a captain, Colonel. Uh, I am sorry if I have kept you waiting. Uh, I was just dealing with a strolling idiot. <laughs> Really? Yeah. There are, going on, things we do not understand. Uh, really, Colonel? Uh, a, a drink on the house, perhaps? <laughs> Thank you. For instance, there is the motor of the General's lawnmower. Search me. We did. We didn't find it. <laughs> Second, this vehicle rally. What is behind it? Oh, uh, nothing, Colonel. It is just us simple peasants enjoying ourselves with with old steam engines and tractors and things. We are, after all, all little boys at heart, are we not? Oh, this is true, yes. I still sleep with Herman, my teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I warn you, René, her flick will be there. And we shall also be there. Mingling. <laughs> Truthfully, Colonel, there is nothing unusual going on in the village. My braces. Why did this man give you his braces? <laughs> it's a secret society, Colonel. <laughs> yes, it is. The, it is the Grand Order of the uh, of the uh, of the Night Owls. Of the Night Owls. That, that is right. Yes, the Grand Order of the Night Owls. I am the Grand Master. He is the Big Oot. <laughs> That man has just been initiated. Yeah? For three weeks, he must go around with no braces. What have braces to do with night owls? <laughs> night owls do not wear braces. <laughs> that is why he has taken them off. It's all quite logical when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have girls? <laughs> okay, chaps, over here. In you go. Jolly good. Are you going to drive Carstairs? Oh, all right, I'll have a go. <laughs> Book or anything? <laughs> it's quite simple. The elastic braces are tied onto that car and hooked round the undercarriage. We start you up, the car is driven off. When the braces are at full stretch, we pull away the chocks and off you go. <laughs> Piece of cake! Where's England? When you're in the air, turn right and keep straight on. <laughs> <laughs> You start it, I will drive it. Do not talk to me with a pipe in your mouth. (laughs) 
Maria, when I give the signal, you and Yvette will pull away the chucks. Roger, Lisette, stand by on the propeller. Standing by. Switch on. Contact. Ah. Put your back into it. They have started theirs already. I am killing myself here. <laughs> Sissy. You have to fear for the compression. Oh, the joke. How do you know so much about it anyway? I used to drive one of these when I was a young girl. You got it from the 1904 motor show, I suppose. <laughs> I am the hero of the resistance. I am driving. We are ready. All is clear. Good luck, chaps. Kiggity boo. Hang on. Go as fast as you can. It is at full stretch. Release the chucks! It is sharp, they cannot shift it! Nose up. <laughs> Quick, back to the cafe. <laughs> the news is serious. General von Klinkhofen is looking for you. He stormed into your office demanding to know where you were. What did you tell him? I said that as it was 5.30, you'd not talk for an hour or two to have a quick run at the boozer <laughs> before resuming your search. Why didn't you tell him I was searching somewhere? He's such a dominating man. His powerful stare makes me filt and go weak. I cannot say no to a man like that. Oh, I wish I had that kind of stare. <laughs> you must drink up and get going, otherwise we for the hijack. Well, I'm with you. I'm only obeying your orders. <laughs> General von Klinkhofen. Oh. <laughs> Stand up, you peasants! Stand up! Up against the wall! Hands on heads! <laughs> Stand still! <laughs> well, it's up! <laughs> what are you doing with your hands on your head? I'm sorry, General. Your powerful stare makes me wilt and go weak. <laughs> I cannot say no to a man like you. <laughs> Who is this idiot? He's my second in command. What do you mean by drinking here when you should be searching? We were looking for something suspicious. Do you expect to find something suspicious in the bottom of a glass? You're incompetent. Yes, General. Why a drink? <laughs> we shall probably have you court-martialed. Yes, General. Um, General, I, I think at this point I should say that I was only acting under the Colonel's orders, stupid though they were. <laughs> Silence! General, I can vouch for the fact that they have just searched this place most thoroughly, and while doing so, they beat several peasants and kicked the proprietor in a quite brutal fashion. <laughs> Good. This will go in their favor. Now, let us see what we have caught in our little net. It is I, Leclerc. <laughs> the pianist, General. Oh, the pianist. Oh. Can you play in the mood? <laughs> <laughs> we have found these two lurking in the kitchen. I see. What are these? 
Well, um... Uh, they are the staff here, General. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, this is Fifi and Gigi. <laughs> I've not seen these two before. No. And it is not easy to miss the one on the left with the big Charlies. <laughs> Girls from out of town, Head General. We are so busy we had to take on extra staff. How's these the girls of uh, easy virtue I've heard about? <laughs> well, fairly easy. <laughs> mm. There's much uh, work to do in my chateau. They are requisitioned. They will start first thing in the morning. Oh, but General, I, I will be short-handed. They may return here each evening to entertain my troops. You are most kind, General. <laughs> That is all. Come over. Ooh. The painting. Oh, a, a, a worthless piece of rubbish, General. <laughs> hey, is that not so, Colonel? Quite I, worthless. Yes, it's terrible, isn't it? Is that so? Are you thinking what I am thinking, Gruber? Van Gogh? Most assuredly in his style. You have some knowledge of these matters. Have it authenticated. We are taking the picture. Oh, but, General, that is stealing. Yes, that is stealing. <laughs> oh, that stare again. <laughs> <laughs> yourself with women on the streets while I am out here working up my butt. <laughs> Perhaps I prefer the women of the streets to an old clacker of castanets. <laughs> Captain, are you prepared to see me insulted in my own cafe in this manner? Well, I hadn't thought about it, actually. <laughs> Dance on, strumpet. I am taking these two upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Madam Edith, uh, how can you allow this insult to go unavenged? Allow me to strike him. Stand aside! <gasps> Die like a dog! Oh, oh my God! Oh. I have missed him and shot the women of the streets. <laughs> that was my gun! <laughs> Colonel, that was my gun! She shot them with my gun! <laughs> I was pissing by the door. <laughs> when I heard two shots, <laughs> you are holding in your hand a smoking goon. <laughs> you are clearly the guilty potty. I did not do it. Tell them I did not do it. I was not looking. <laughs> Officer. You have no authority over the glorious German army. This was just an ordinary crime of passion that happens in France on any Saturday night. <laughs> but if it should come to the ears of General von Klinkerhoff... General von Klinkerhoff? <laughs> if it should come to the ears of General von Klinkerhoff... <laughs> that, 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 that an officer allowed his gun to be taken from him, then both he and his superior would be in very hot water. Ah, you see, you are in it too. <laughs> For the usual bribe of 50,000 francs, I trust you will overlook this incident. Did I make those? Shut up. <laughs> Is there an undertaker in the house? <coughs> Monsieur Alphonse, undertaker. <laughs> Swiftly and with style. Oh, what luck. I will turn to this a blonde eye. <laughs> Remove the biddies. <laughs> Colonel, Colonel, Captain, please, be quickly by the back door with your troops. I will see that General von Klinkerhofen does not get to hear of this. Thank you. Take the lieutenant with you. Here comes. Hubert! 
didn't do it! I did not do it! Shut up! <laughs> oh, Red, they have swallowed it! They have swallowed it! I will tell you one thing, Edith. These Germans, they are so stupid. Here comes that English idiot who thinks he can speak our language. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> do you want the good news or the bad news? <laughs> oh, do let us have the good news. <laughs> I have hashed up the shutting of the two tits. <laughs> what does Crabtree say of it? He has hushed up the shooting of the two tarts. <laughs> good. And what is the bad news? The Gestapo are hoovering round the graveyard, <laughs> disguised as a nan, a boshop, and a Roman Catholic farter. I knew I should not have asked. Where are the airmen? They have taken spades. They have cracked along the tunnel. <laughs> And are dogging. <laughs> oh, that does not sound like a lot of fun. We are supposed to be helping them. What are we to do? With my disguise as policeman, <laughs> I am able to escort you there. Look, can you not find a phrase book and improve your French? <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> Nobody has complained so far. <laughs> If they do, I will tell them that I am from the left bunk. Yvette, <laughs> Maria. Go round the tables and collect all the flowers so we can take them with us. And what excuse do we give to the Colonel and the Captain? Hmm? You leave this to me. Dear Colonel, dear Captain, forgive us, but we are departing to pay our respect to the two women of the street who I unfortunately shot with your gun. Uh, come on. <laughs> <then. laughs> Hans, I think they're up to something. Oh, Uncle Kurt, you're speaking to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a relief. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Yes. <laughs> I think we should follow René. But General von Klinkerhofen told us to watch the cafe. You're right. We should obey orders. We will watch the cafe. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> tonight it is cabaret time at the cafe René. Oh, no. And in the absence <laughs> of Madame Edith, please to welcome from the Folie Bergère, Madame Fanny Lafayette. <laughs> Take me to your heart again Let's make a start again Forgiving and forgetting I was right in the first place we will follow Rene. But about the orders? Officers must use their initiative. Besides, there's no cheese for our ears. <laughs> Dearest, let's turn back the years. Let's rise from after tears. Like sunshine after rain. I'm yearning for you. I've caught you at an inconvenient moment. Can I help you, monsieur? I am looking for Monsieur René, who I observed entering these premises. He's not here. We will search. Hans, search. Search, search. <coughs> Is there a dead body in here? Hopefully. 
<laughs> we put a screwdriver in with them in case we make a mistake. <laughs> How far do you want me to go? What do you mean? It is spooky. <laughs> Open the coffin. Uh. It is full of earth. Why is this coffin full of earth? I am growing mushrooms. <laughs> I do not see any mushrooms. That is probably because they have not yet to come up. <laughs> There's earth on the floor. Hans, help me. Oh, no, monsieur, you cannot. You cannot defile the tomb of the departed. Why is there earth in your poo? <laughs> I am trying to cultivate the stone of the avocado pear. <laughs> do you have to sit on it to cultivate it? <laughs> oh, shoot. Requires a warm temperature. <laughs> I grew one on a damp flannel. <laughs> it is a tunnel. A tunnel. How did that get in there? We must find out where it leads. Hans, you go first. <laughs> by the Gestapo and the Jerry troops. In fact, the whole damn lot of them. They find us without uniforms or be shot. Well, what about this lot? We're the French resistance. They'll shoot us too. My God, Simpson, this is a bit of a facer. There's an inspection in five minutes. Of course, with the crowd general. Uh, we'd better set about hiding them. Will somebody please tell me what is going on? They are going to hide us. But why do we not go back down the tunnel? The colonel and the captain are coming down it. going to do? Oh, while well, trying to behave like the bravest man in all France. <laughs> Hans, I'm stuck. Oh. Give me a pull. Yes. One, two, two three. three. Oh. Oh. oh, no, look what you have done. We are trapped, and I suffer from claustrophobia. <laughs> I have had it ever since my mother tried to smuggle me out of Berlin in a suitcase. Why would she do that? So my father wouldn't find out about me. They <laughs> say there are some more coming. You're there dressed as crowds. That's because they are crowds. Uh, hold my gun while I get out. <laughs> <laughs> Tunnel has come out in England. <laughs> Everyone here is on the list. Attention, attention. Stand by for inspection by General von Klinkerhofen. General von Klinkerhofen. General von Klinkerhofen. There is a gun in your back. If you give us away, you will be the first to die. Do exactly as I say. And listen very carefully. You will say these only words. <laughs> <laughs> 